So, very good morning. This is Hukalo TV. Welcome to our sixth guided webinar, a uh, guided meditation webinar. This week, uh, my partner Kim Luis will be guiding the webinar along maybe with some extra of our friends. I think they want to come and make a presence. So, thank you for tuning in today. Um, and I will introduce you to Kim and she will take things away. Kim, over to you. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for gifting yourself this experience. We are going to go on a journey together. But initially, it's important that you are in touch with yourself. I have already asked that you sit with your comfort being paramount. Your physical comfort is essential. For this physical comfort will allow you to utilize other vibrationary tools that you have. So as you release any tension, as you feel your body at peace, any pain, may we ask it to leave. So you may be pure and standing at the ready to channel, to move and be guided. Your breath, become aware of your breath. As you breathe in, you breathe in love. As you breathe out, you exhale distress. Breathe in love through the nose and exhale anything negative. In again, purity, light, and out, emptying you, in, with abundant room for experience, out with anything that will confine you. In. <sighs> the joy, feel the joy. Out. Cleansed. And ready. In peace. a journey with a final destination of wonderment. As you breathe, then you allow your breath to cycle through. Thank your unconscious mind for taking care of the body that is you. You may breathe knowing your unconscious now understands what is required. Now we will look to the subconscious. Let us view the subconscious 
as the rear part of your head where your mind resides. Allow it to come into your consciousness, befriend it. Let us request that it be shrouded in the wonder of the hue of purple that will keep this part of you active as we journey. Now as you are comfortable, relaxed and released, I wish for you to take one step back, one step before the mass that is you. You may view this, you may feel this, you may visualize this. It is what serves you best that is required. So maybe take several more steps, moving back, more movement, taking you backwards in your life of this existence, the one that you have chosen. Let us move back further, pivotal moments, choose one. It may be one of sorrow. It may be one of greatness. It may simply be one you remember. And as you view this and you understand it, know it is acknowledged. Know it is an important part of who you are. Now, another movement backwards, a large step, a leap, a gentle, effortless regression backwards to another moment where you changed, where you were influenced, where you made a pivotal choice. Feel upon it. Look to it, remember it again. It may be one of sorrow or it may be one of joy. It may be one you simply observed. Now, I'm going to ask you to move yourselves as you are relaxed in peace and comfort back to your child, back to the memory, back to a vision you hold of you, the child, the wonder, the innocence, 
the joy, the creative, perhaps the wounded, perhaps needing nurturing, perhaps needing connecting. Please, as you stand in your view, the youngest of you, please kneel. Kneel in front of that child. Look the child in the eye. Do you see the beauty? Do you see the strength? Do you see how great is this child to bring you to your realities that you experience? In this day, the child, bless them, reach out, touch hands, hold each other's hands, for you are the greatest friends that there may ever be. Hold the child within you. Pull them close, touch their cheek, feel them and let them feel you, honour them, bow your head, honour them, for in this way you honour yourself. Breathe in, breathe out. We are going on a journey. As you hold the hand of your inner child, the child you treasure, the child you are amazed by. And we are going to allow you for the next few minutes we are going to free you from gravity gravity slowly allows you both together as you look into each other's eyes holding hands you move. Gravity is gone and you float. You float and in amazement you look at each other as you float higher, as you care and protect, as you love. You move upwards, upwards, upwards. There is beauty. Reach for space. Reach for the stars. Reach for the moon. Reach to all that you are. As you move and you become lighter, brighter, you may even cross each other's paths. You may even see 
by you for just one moment. Another who was in this room, he was with their child. Bless them. Bless their child. Bless their journey. And move once more in love, in light, and together you both choose to visit a place of pure wonderment, a place created by source, a place where you all belong. Lift, lift higher with your child embrace. Move slowly, twirl around each other. Know each other as you live higher and higher to a place of absolute ecstasy. Ecstasy for you both, for you all. In this place, you may heal. In this place, there is all knowing. There is all connection. There is all healing. 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 Bring you with your child to the greatness of the goal of the bliss, of the perspective of your grandeur, that this be who you are, this be where you create, this be ecstasy. Share Share with each other. Share with the energy. Share the joy, the bliss. Look into the eyes of the child and see the remembrance. See what it brought to this planet with you, this wonderment, this place where all your dreams exist, all your love unites, all your being is healed. And all your pains left behind for a moment. Communicate with your child while you exist here. Is there forgiveness? Is there understanding? Is there gratitude? Of course there is love. 
This child is your greatness. This child deserves the nurturing that you may bring it. I shall go higher, higher to a simple experience of union, of ecstasy. Trace this realm with your own imprint of acceptance, of understanding, of all knowing, of all loving unity, source, greatness, request, you heal the child you carry, nurture it as it be your own, allow the energy to permeate, to melt, may you both dissolve into ecstasy, 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 for a moment, in ecstasy, what would you tell this child? What do you wish for this child? What do you have to be grateful for? And what understanding may you now see? Please. In this ecstatic state, speak with the child of you and define what is needed for you to be whole, for you to be healed for you to feel purpose and gratitude in this moment I shall allow you time Hold your child, raise it high as you would in play, smile, share joy, share apologies, share closure. Share understanding of each other. Share the love that child has for you. Continue. 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 
bring the child to your chest hold it close comfort it remember ecstasy when you wish to address yourself, to address the child that resides within, you may simply hug yourself. In this moment, create a vision, an action of hugging your child as yourself. Lock it in. Lock it to your core. Lock it to your connection with source. Lock it to all you are. Hold. It will eternally be available to you in your greatness of individuality and your greatness of unity. Now, as you share let us return very slowly, effortlessly as you join with the child you love so deeply with such appreciation and understanding and purpose. You are healing as you journey back through space amongst stars, amongst planets, amongst being those who float with you as you do now. There is abundant love in this space look upon your home the earth see the beauty understand the collective look at the purpose that you and your child in your greatness choose heal with every moment heal as you slowly return love as you return understand yourself as you return, slowly, gently, closer, bringing the all-knowing that you now have, slowly, you see familiar places, You still float, there is no rush, there is always ample time for your child within. You may forever embrace yourself and know that this is locking in the feeling of ecstasy of you with your inner child.
bring you back gently, slowly, effortlessly to your home, to your place of meditation, to where you first knelt in front of your own precious self. As you move slowly back into your body, very slowly be aware where does your child reside? Where does it live? How does it support you? Hold that close and know forever the greatness of that child that has seen you through to this point in your evolution. You have here. You have taken great steps to healing your past and now you are ready to be in this moment in your greatness with understanding, love and light. When you're ready, please gently kiss your child on the forehead, come back to your natural state and bring with you bliss, ecstasy and peace with intention for eternal recognition of yourself. As I count and I bring you back slowly to your consciousness Slowly to your subconscious that served you so well and continues to do so. Thank it. Thank your unconscious mind for caring for your needs. Thank it. You may allow the purple light to slowly dim, but no, it is forever there. It loves you. From ten, I ask you, seek to your body. From nine, begin to move the vibration within you to eight, beginning to ground, beginning to balance to seven. to the peace, to the knowing, to six, to the child that is the greatest of you all, to five, back to the awareness of 
breath of experience to fall to look inside and recognize the body that is now you to fall to be at peace a peace you may carry with you for this day and forevermore to three to bring your consciousness back to be present gently slowly to three to two and as you meld once more with the vibration of you to one for you are one Take your time, return completely when you are ready. This is your journey. Pray. You are ready. Breathe yourself back. And when you are done, there is no rush. You may speak, or perhaps not. It is your choice. If you wish to maintain this state and move to a place where you wish to hold on to this place, it is understood that you may leave without acknowledgement, that you may move to where it is you wish to be. When you are ready, if you wish to, you may open your eyes. you come to your consciousness, please thank the precious child within you, please thank yourself for your involvement and choosing to share this experience. And may I thank you, each and all, for your attendance, for your willingness, for your choice to be. I thank you with deep gratitude 
I honor you each and my love for you each is eternal. Blessing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kim. That was beautiful. You're welcome, Roxy. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I love the inner child. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Kim. That was awesome. Oh, Just yeah. awesome. You're so welcome, Dan. You're welcome, Barbara. <laughs> Oh, hi, Ray. <laughs> hey. Hello. <laughs> hello, guys. I didn't get a chance to meditate, but I just wanted to say hello. Hi, hi Amy. How are you, baby? I'm doing pretty good. How are you guys? <laughs> you have awesome. To Awesome. 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 I can't wait to hear your experiences. Let's hear them. Well, you can always um, watch the, the replay if you wish on YouTube, Amy, if you want to uh, go through the experience yourself. So. Okay. I'll do that. Guided meditations are more um, giving you the journey. Um, oh. Rather, allow you to journey, but it would be great to hear other people's feedback if, if anybody wants to share. I'm sure if anybody's ready. Yeah, if anyone's ready. <laughs> and if anyone chooses, because by some of you might decide, okay, I'm just going to go nap, or I'm just going to go to bed. Uh, some, Maya, some. Yes. That's right. Oh, Ray. Ray, that's right. Ah, Ray, sorry. I'm getting you mixed up, Ray. <laughs> Okay. That was very extremely beautiful. <laughs> meditation. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, baby agrees. Oh, you're welcome, Maya. It was amazing. Thank you, Kim. You're welcome, Akiko. <laughs> it was um. It was interesting, I saw myself first, hugging myself, then um, I changed to my sister. Oh, wow. So, once again, I was able to hug her, so it was, oh. it was amazing, so thank you. Oh, that's so beautiful. You're welcome. I'm so pleased you created that. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that is unexpected. So thank you. You're welcome. I want to talk for a bit. Can I? Yes. Okay. Well, I like the beautiful idea to, because my mind was still on expos, psychic expos, to set up like a children's okay. area and to like set up the energy around that and all the children can, can come. But then my ego mind started to think of all the, you know, all the, all the technicalities that are involved. <laughs> but it's an interesting idea. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can always watch it back later if you feel like it. It's up to you. Yes, I. That was extremely. extremely I'm loving your Cinderella avatar too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it is so cute. I love it. It's 
actually, yeah, somebody said Elohim, yeah. There was some Elohim in there. <laughs> so... May I Okay. Want to say something? <clears throat> <laughs> she decided not to. Uh, apologies. I, if I made any noise, I didn't know my mic was on. It's okay, sweetie. You're fine. There was no noise. So, well, Kim? Yeah? I have a question about the idea. Um, I've done this uh, kind of meditation a lot this year. Mm -hmm. with the inner child and I, the twist on it was the um, feeling the ecstasy can you do you have a, a way to explain kind of the connection what kind of mm -hmm. ecstasy is that like mm -hmm. yeah I was trying to imagine of course. what that was supposed to be feeling like mm -hmm. Okay, look, I'll give you probably the typical answer and then I'll give you the atypical one. The typical answer would be whatever your definition of ecstasy is. Now, I'm going to, I will make a different Perfect. differentiation is that it's from a viewpoint of an existence. It is actually probably within the realms of what you might call a species. Um, the ecstasy, yes, it implies sexual experiences and in the right environment, right in inverted commas, then yes, it's, it's a wonderful energy to be called upon. But in other ways, in this way, in this purpose, it's designed as the highest pleasure that you can imagine, that you can achieve. And it is actually outside our realm of understanding of how pure and how strong this ecstasy is. So if you can imagine the greatest pleasure, the greatest feeling of lightness, the vibration of purity, no obstacles, pure pleasure. And that's the definition of that place in time and space. Thank you. You're welcome. So if anybody would like to share, that's fine. And if you don't, that's fine too. We can end the broadcast if you like. I just would like to make sure everybody's okay. Amy, I see you're wonderful, honey. Barbara? If you're still there? Ah, you're all good. <laughs> Dan, you back? Back, okay. Yes, I'm back. Yeah, back of you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Perfect for today, actually. Quite quite perfect for the day. And I'm glad. I'm just checking in. I don't really want to shift your energies. I just don't want to leave you um, not knowing that you're all stable and where you need to be. <laughs> I don't know if I could be any more stable today. It's been that kind of day. More on that later. <laughs> yeah, listen. Listen, Bob. Yeah. Oh, that's good, Dan. I'm glad. If I um, may add one more. It was, um, it was a little painful. Yes. But um, 
rather than staying away, I was able to sit in and observe. Yes. So that was That's wonderful. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm so pleased because it it's about healing the child as well. It's about taking those moments where the child may have felt some pain and allowing it to change that idea of what the pain is and replacing it with something else. So the I pain think, is as relevant as the joy. Yeah. You know, it was funny because I was thinking of her in a way and um, it came back very yeah. real, like, so that was, that was it. That's um, I didn't think it's going to be part of the inner child, but now I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know you can access it whenever you need to. I mean, it's just a gesture of hugging yourself. If you decide that you want to spend some time in that state, now it's locked in for you. You can access it however you like. But the gesture that I imprinted was that you you hug yourself, um, and if you do that, you can go as high, you can go back to that ecstasy, and mm -hmm. use it to support you and your past and your future. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I had the same experience of being the observer, but <laughs> as I was as I was observing, I was really I was kind of like inserting a oh I love myself I am enough for myself this is just mm -hmm. my process this is what happened now now I. I know now, but in that time space, mm -hmm. of whatever memory that was coming up for me, I was reinforcing self-love mm -hmm. yeah. into that experience and saying, you know, this isn't about you particularly. This is mm -hmm. about this person's own stuff, and you are enough for yourself. So mm -hmm. that's kind of what was happening when things would come into my mind through the meditation, which was really neat. It's kind of like, oh, what's the word? Um, just reformulating the memory with mm -hmm. love, unconditional love for myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was really beautiful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. That's really lovely. I'm so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> For what anybody's done in their experience in their life, whether it's been from their childhood or, you know, closer to, uh, closer to the now that we're in now, then, yeah, we've all been through pain and, we need a little bit of that healing sometimes to uh, love ourselves, mm -hmm. forgive ourselves unconditionally, love and forgive that, you know, those actions because otherwise they just keep us held back. Mm. Yeah, they can have a good grip. Mm. Being aware of them, I mean, it's good. And like mm. everyone was saying, being the observer um, gives you that, I mean, we experience pain for a reason. Um, we're, I mean, a lot of a lot of other beings can't experience what we do. So ignoring it is not going to help. Experiencing it, yes, but being the observer of it, that's when you take the power. That's when you can really hone that ability. Yeah, this meditation was very much designed to be an open-ended. Um, experience for you all and a healing experience um, 
and acknowledging that, yeah, as a 3D being and a, our 3D child, there are moments of pain that we don't understand. And some of us are blessed with beautiful childhoods and they're just as, just as important as ones that were traumatic. They all need love. Because we all need love in this day, at this time. It's a three-dimensional necessity to be cared about. And if we can care about ourselves, then we are able to care better for others. Mm-hmm. I'll ask that. So sometimes just that gentle space with yourself now we'll talk it's about being gently engaged with yourself. So I guess this was a good example because he was assisting me in this. So, yeah, it is what it is for you. And I really would like you to hold on to that experience for yourselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with that, Thank you, everybody. I hope it sets you up for a wonderful week. <laughs> um, I'm sure next week it will be someone else amazing. I'm not sure who it is. I think it's Johannes. Johannes. I think it's Johannes. I have to check it out. You're right. Very good. All right, well, I will stop the broadcast now. Uh, goodbye to everybody. Um, thank you so much. Please thank yourselves as well. Please use this meditation whenever you feel you would like to. Obviously, it's available on Human Colony TV. And uh, please feel free to use it as all the others that are on there. They're all very special or very special parts of the people who do and create the meditations for you. Um, so yes, with great thanks, I will stop the broadcast and we look forward to meditation number seven next week. Thanks everybody. Love you. Love you. Thank you. Kim.